a cow. Can I have a cow? Hey guys, so today we are finishing off our Christmas themed movie commentaries. How December has just flown by. This year has flown by. I feel like 2020 has gone slow but fast. The pacing of this year has been very strange. So yeah, I thought we'd finish off December with a classic that is Love Actually. Love Actually, I probably haven't seen for like 10, 10 years around there. I just remember like it's got a huge cast, like Alan Rickman, Colin Firth, like it's set in England. I just remember that there's all the storylines and then they all sort of like interconnect. Like, you know, New Year's Eve, um, all of those like Valentine's Day, you know, there's all those ones where the dates, there's like, like a day and there's all these different storylines that like sort of interconnect together. It, it, like they're a little, like they're like a spider web of stories. Well, this is strange. This is really weird that we're like at the end of December. I don't really know what to say. Like we're going into a new year. Really, it's just another day. It's a new year, but it's just really just another day. But it's weird, 2020 has been an interesting year and I think going into 2021, everyone's like, oh, it's a new year, fresh start. No, nothing's gonna change. <laughs> this is a cynical, uh, negative version of myself. I don't wanna think about this. I wanna have fun watching Love Actually. I know I'm gonna have a really good time watching this movie, I just know it just because i pretty certain it's like all wholesome and like a lot of happy stories, a lot of romance. All right, let's just jump straight into it. Our final commentary of the year, of December. Bring it on. If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around. I like the use of that title. Very sneaky, subtle. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. It's just I know the old version so well, you know. <laughs> Fuck, wank, bugger, shitting, ass, head and hole. <laughs> so everywhere I go, everywhere I go. Wait, Liam Neeson. He's the dad of Thomas Sanks, Sanks, Thomas Sangster. Oh, oh, the little boy. How am I forgetting all these people are in this movie? Try my lovely nuts. No sexual innuendo intended. Ah! Oh, Martin Freeman. And by the way, he introduced me as John, but actually everyone calls me Jack. Oh, oh fine. Nice to meet you, Jack. He introduced him as John. John Watson. Ah, oh, Chiwetel Ejiofor. Andrew Lincoln. I feel so disappointed in myself that I forgot all the cast. This is a fucking insane cast. This cast is crazy. And this is Natalie. She's new, like you. Hello, Natalie. Hello, David. I did have an awful premonition I was going to fuck up on my first day. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, piss it. Yeah, I can't see why not. He was checking her out. It was like, it wasn't very subtle. Food. No thanks. Yeah, a bit dodgy, isn't it? I'm a cook. Ever do weddings? Yes, I do. I should have asked you to do this one. I did. Oh my God, you, you really put your foot in it, mate. <laughs> Some of her uh, requests, uh, for instance, that I should bring Claudia Schiffer as my date, as usual. My darling girl, and Sam's darling mum was right. Wow, well, he's keeping his composure. I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to do a speech for someone that I love at a funeral. This DJ, what do you reckon? The worst in history? Probably. Mm. I think it all hangs in the next song. I'm so getting into it, like, yes. <laughs> Sarah's waiting for you. Oh, yes, of course. This is the second Christmas movie that we have done this month that has Alan Rickman in it. And I'm not complaining. We did Die Hard, and now we're doing Love Actually. You can give as much Snape 
as much Alan Rickman as you like. I will, I, I can talk about him all day. I did enough of it in my Die Hard video. Like, <laughs> I did a lot of it. So I'm gonna try and can, like contain myself in this video. There's enough other characters for me to like go on about. And how long have you been in love with Carl, our enigmatic chief designer? Invite him out for a drink, and then after about 20 minutes, casually drop into the conversation the fact that you'd like to marry him and have lots of sex and babies. You know that? Alan Rickman being like the matchmaker. Yes. <gasps> oh my god, he's so beautiful. <gasps> Best shag you ever had. Britney Spears. What? No, only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she was rubbish. Okay, um, here's one. Right, who do you have to screw around here to get a cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit? Uh, not her. Oh, God. <laughs> He's so cute. To a fantastic place called Wisconsin. No! Yes, Wisconsin, babe! Let me know if you live in Wisconsin. Is Wisconsin a great place to go to travel to when you go to the US? American, uh, American people out there? Give me your honest opinion. I, um, I was hoping you'd win. Not that I wouldn't have been nice to the other bloke too, just always giving him the boring biscuits for no chocolate. We're like 25 minutes in and it's already exhausting because it's jumping from so many stories. Like, we'll jump from this to this to this to this, and then back to that one and then to this one. It's... <sighs> Jesus. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Um... My brain's kind of like on overload right now. I'd just be hanging around the mistletoe, hoping to be kissed. Really? Hint, hint. Hint, hint. Her, her neck looks so long in that turtleneck. Her head feels like so disconnected from her, from her neck. Her neck looks like it's elongated. <laughs> it's weird. There's a lot of turtlenecks in this movie. Like a lot. I guess it's winter, so that makes sense. But still, it's a lot of turtlenecks. There was not enough amount of Benny in The Queen's Gambit. Thomas Sangster Brody? Brody Sangster? That's his name, I think. He's all grown up now, and I love him, but there was not enough of him in The Queen's Gambit, and I was very disappointed. Extremely disappointed. I loved the show, but there wasn't enough of him, and I was so sad. I was like, I need more of Benny in my life. And Netflix took that away from me, and I was not happy. We didn't even get to see them kiss. I was so disappointed. The Queen's Gambit is a good show. You should still watch it if you haven't. Um, and uh, you live with your husband, uh, boyfriend? Tell me your um, relation status. Relation? Relationship status. He said I was getting fat. I <gasps> beg your pardon? What a dick. He said no one's gonna fancy a girl with thighs the size of big tree trunks. Do not listen to him. Uh-huh, good, good. And what does she... He feel about you? Don't you love that? I love that he asked him, like, maybe it's a boy. That's such a subtle piece of writing, like, just chucking that in to a sentence. Like, it doesn't seem like much, but it is. That just makes him even more of, like, an awesome dad. Oh, yes. Love that. Blue! Oh my god, Blue! Let me know if you know the, the boy band Blue. This is one of the biggest throwbacks ever. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. I used to have, well, my family, we used to have the Blue album. Blue, they're a classic. I keep saying the word blue. Blue, 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 blue. And these two guys, aren't they like the hosts of like, Britain's Got Talent? America's Got Talent? One of the Got Talent shows. Full of dark corners, full. In dark deeds. <gasps> Not subtle at all. Doing the basic instinct, but not doing it fully. Literally, legs. <laughs> not subtle hints. Not any, like, you know, subtle flirting. I'm just gonna open my legs up for you. <laughs> oh. uh, bonjour. 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 Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. At least it's not Trump. Hi. <laughs> what the fuck? I hope to see much more of you as our two great countries work toward a better future. Ugh. Ugh. What the fuck, mate? No one would. 
I will be prepared to be much stronger. And the president should be prepared for that. Holy shit. one of the best like random dance scenes in a movie that's just like it comes out of nowhere but it's amazing and it's awesome oh my god so good peter and juliet's wedding do you think we might be on the right track do you mind if i just no, i've probably taped over it almost everything's episodes of west wing on it you want to watch a good aaron sorkin show the west wing watch it it's amazing you've stayed rather close haven't you <laughs> He thought that no one was going to see this footage. He was keeping this footage for himself to keep for himself to watch by himself. I know you're in love with her, but filming her when she thought that you were filming everything and then keeping that footage so you can probably, you know, when you're alone, like, fuck you, mate. That is, that is, that is creepy factor like stalker factor like 10 out of 10 she was eating food and she's put her finger across her lips in slow motion and he has edited that because there are portions where it's recording and then like in previous scenes at the wedding and then he just dropped the camera down and then put it back up. So this is an edited version. He has gone through all of the footage and edited this video of just her, of just all her. I can't deal with that. Look, I've got to get to a lunch. You can just show yourself out, can't you? Don't even, don't even go back to her. Don't. No. Dido, classic. Dido's another 2000s, 90s, 2000s icon. The chubby girl. Oh my god, what the fuck? Ooh, would we call her chubby? She is not. I think there's a pretty sizable ass there, yes, sir. Chubby? Fuck. Oh, god damn, god damn. God damn, that pisses me off. Well, we need Kate, and we need Leo, and we need them now. I'm flying, Jack. I'm flying. You trust me? I trust you. <laughs> Thank God they didn't reenact the actual scene. What are the biscuits? Have they got chocolate biscuits? Oh, they didn't show it. I would have loved to. Like, the new receptionist that brings him the biscuits isn't the yum chocolate covered biscuits, but just normal plain ones. This video clip. <laughs> Get the boobs out. Yep. Get the spread legs. Oh my god. That's so inappropriate. You're looking very pretty, isn't it? It's for you. Oh my god, stop. It's all for you. His wife is across the room. Oh my... I can't. I just, I can't. Alan Rickman, I am not happy with you right now. The name malicious and I burn every track clips and Jay Timberlake now. Yes, yes, Sarah, Sarah and Carl. The soundtrack in this movie is amazing. Brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. I can't handle how adorable they are. You cut from JT to this. I want a Carl. Can I have a Carl? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so envious of Laura Linney right now. Oh my God, he's playing with her hair. <laughs> Just, um, would you excuse me for one second? <laughs> Just gonna get that out for a sec. Oh my God. Oh no. Sorry about that. No, it's, it's fine. My brother, he's he's not well. He calls a lot. No, I'm 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 not busy. I've... That is heartbreaking. That is so sad. I feel so sorry for her and him. They like they love each other so much. My heart's just broken. 
Just, just, just broken. The nurses are trying to kill me. Nobody's trying to kill you, babe. If that scene went on any longer, I probably would have started crying. This movie so far, like, as a rom-com, it's not just, like, a cheesy, typical, like, just standard rom-com. It's got stories about affair, relationships, grief, death, unrequited love, mental illness, and every storyline is so perfect. Like, there isn't a storyline that I don't like in this movie. Except Alan Rickman, like, pisses me off because I don't want him cheating on his wife. Mr. Bean, <laughs> Rowan Atkinson. It's 270 pounds. 270 pounds? Would you like it gift wrapped? Uh, yes, all right. <laughs> flowers, pretty flowers. <laughs> oh my God, he reminds me of the salt. The, you know, the, the salt, the salt, I didn't even know the meme, but you know the meme, the salt dude? <laughs> Of the salt dude. <laughs> but I don't want a Christmas box. <laughs> you said you wanted a gift wrapped. No, 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 no bloody holly. <laughs> but say it. Uh, leave it, leave it, just leave it. Never pay extra for gift wrapping. There's no point. They're just gonna rip it open anyway, cut it with scissors, and then it's not gonna be used ever again. Just chuck it in the bin, scrunch it up, and chuck it in the bin. <laughs> Barney. Barney is Jesus. Jesus is Barney. <laughs> Are you from England? Yes. Oh, that is so cute. Is that January Jones? And that's what's her face. I don't know her name, but is she a model? Where have I seen her? <gasps> oh, what's her face? Um, she's from a the Girl Next Door. A Girl Next Door. The Girl Next Door. Hey, gorgeous. <laughs> wow. Wow, Colin. First night. That's great. My brilliant wife. Ah, yes. Yes, your brilliant wife. Your wife. Finding out that your husband is cheating on you. Oh, if she starts crying now, please don't, please don't be crying. Oh, this is gonna make me cry if she starts crying. And if you can, why am I crying? Don't let them know. Oh, that's so horrible. Alan Rickman, I do not like you right now. I do not like him. I do not, I do not. I do not like him. Kiss her, kiss her, kiss her. Don't just stand there. All I want for Christmas is you. Is you. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, another cheesy moment, another cheesy line. But I don't care. <laughs> and then her husband's just like, whoop, steps into the picture. Whoop. What do you mean she's perfect? Oh, we'll love you. <sighs> What, end with a thumbs up? Two thumbs up? Two thumbs up, mate? How? Why? How, Kira Knightley? Why? How? Why? That is his best friend's wife. And she went and kissed... She... Why did she kiss him? People are making such stupid decisions in this movie. It's aggravating. I realise that Christmas is, is the time to be with the people you love. Oh, and he loves him. He loves Joe. The people I love is, in fact... Him? You. But you turn out to be the fucking love of my life. <laughs> oh, he's crying. <laughs> Come on, let's get pissed and watch porn. <laughs> I can't handle all of this, like, love and romance. I'm getting too much of a, of a romance, like a over, like overload. My my heart can't handle it. <sighs> I'm actually yours with love. You're Natalie. Come on, jump, Hugh Grant, jump. Where the fuck is my fucking coat? <laughs> 
where the fuck is my fucking coat? <laughs> I need my fucking coat. <laughs> there's, the, there's a lot of gel in his hair. There's a shit ton of gel in his hair. <laughs> Look at the spikes. It looks like a, um, a, a, a um, um, porcupine. <laughs> I love her red coat. That coat is gorgeous. Look at that. It's so long and oh, like rich red. Well, at least the Jesus is in a Barney. <laughs> Imagine if it was a Barney just sitting there. <laughs> I don't want a lot for Christmas. There's just one thing I need. The classic little braids. That is me when I was in primary school. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Smile. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Tell her that. Tell her what? Tell her that you love her. No way. Anyway, they fly tonight. We need an airport scene. An airport scene. Airport scene. Nothing beats an airport scene. <laughs> it ain't over till it's over. Okay, Dad. Oh, he called him Dad. He called him dad and not Daniel. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <gasps> Claudia Shiver. Okay. Claudia. I'll make sure we do. Yeah. Good. Tell him. What? That you love him. No. <laughs> Don't be such an arse. <laughs> oh my God, the music's giving me chills, like full body chills. I love the music. <laughs> that is adorable. We should have gotten more of Liam and Thomas. Of Daniel and Sam. Like, why don't we get more of them? <sighs> the story was so good. It wasn't enough. <laughs> Oh, you were gorgeous. Oh. Denise Richards. <laughs> Just got a handful of ass. Major hand. <laughs> handful of ass. <laughs> I love this movie. Love actually is so beautiful and way more deep than lots of people like say and think like. There's a lot more to it in regards to like all the themes that are throughout. I think you have like comedic side, you have the dramatic, you have the heartbreaking and like I teared up. I teared up like that is such a hard, hard movie to watch, but I really enjoyed it. It looked really pretty. The soundtrack was amazing. Like all the music was just perfect like a total throwback to my like primary school days that took me back to like my childhood so much of that stuff just reminded me of my childhood i loved it i love this movie i should how have i not seen this for like 10 years how have i taken this long to rewatch it this is a definite classic christmas movie that i think everyone should watch if you're of age there is nudity there is yup it, you need to be of an appropriate age to watch it but I highly re recommend it it's amazing it's romantic it's beautiful just yes 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 well that comes to the end of 2020 um I hope you guys enjoyed the channel this year I know I had heaps of fun it was great um and I guess I will see you in the new year hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later bye